Meta has just announced some major new AI integrations into the Ray-Bans. And the big thing here is that it is now multimodal. So in my opinion, these AI Ray-Ban meta kind of glasses, this is probably where the Oculus should have gone. I know different people will kind of debate that, but I honestly see this having a way higher user base than something like an Oculus, which might be fun for gaming or whatever, but doesn't seem like something you're gonna wear while you're walking around outside. Whereas these meta Ray-Bans, if you've seen them, are actually phenomenal. They literally look like a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. I'm blown away. I'm not even sure where they're packing the tech into these things. Obviously, it's in the front frames and everything else. So it's amazing and it looks very, very natural. Now, the cool thing here is that these have always kind of had the ability, they have had a camera on them for you to like take a picture with them and that kind of thing. But it's bringing it to a whole new level now that Meta has come up with their new Llama model. Llama 3 is gonna be integrated into these and you're gonna be able to have this multimodal integrations and feature set. So essentially what you're gonna be able to do is you'll be wearing these glasses, you'll be able to look at something and it's able to actually see. In my opinion, it's kind of like what Siri or Alexa or OK Google's, you know, the Google's assistant should have or could have been, but they never really had the, the functionality of the camera. Now this is built in with this. So they, they released a demo and they showed a bunch of really cool things you can do, um, a few in particular. The first one is that Meta's AI assistant, which was previously only for audio interactions, right? So it's pretty much like Siri. You could just talk to it and be like, hey Siri, what's blah, blah, blah or hey Meadow, you know, what do I do about this? And it could give you an answer. It can now process the visual data from the glasses and their built-in camera and give you insights on that. Now, we get some sort of similar features from ChatGPT where you can upload an image to it and you upload a picture and they have actually really cool demos that they've done for a long time. The problem is, wait for it. Here it comes. It's kind of, I don't know, my opinion, not supernatural to like take the picture, send the picture, type out your message. This is so much more seamless where you literally say, hey Meta, or tap something on your glasses and you're like, hey Meta, you know, what, what am I supposed to be fixing here? And then it can immediately tell you. So that's one thing that's amazing. The second is that users can now ask the glasses to translate text. So if you're, let's say, in a country that is not a language you speak, you could be looking at the label at the food at the grocery store and be like, hey, like, what is this? Or what's the price on this? This is phenomenal. This is so cool. This is actually like very, very useful. Different than like what a lot of people would say, you know, VR, they're like, oh, there's not like that many use cases. Sure, it's fun for video games, but whatever, right? This is like incredibly useful to wear it all day, every day. I think, I mean, I would be curious what, you know, people's perspectives are, but you have things like the Humane AI pin, which is like a pin that you wear on your shirt and it's got like a camera and it can kind of do some of the same things. It's, it's interesting though, because with something like the Humane pin, this is inventing a whole new device that is now on you where glasses, tons of people just wear glasses all day, every day. So it's like, it's something that you might already be doing. You kind of tap it in. It's like if you added all these functionalities to Apple smartwatch, it'd be like a no brainer because people are already wearing their watches. Now, the cool thing about this all to me is that more than a smartwatch, the camera is right where your eyes are. So right where you are seeing things, it is seeing things. It's so much more seamless and natural. And I think glasses are 100% the way to go. Now, not that, you know, Meta is like the big revolutionary in this space. You know, I want to make it clear. Obviously, we had Google Glass, which was kind of ahead of its time, perhaps, that it was supposed to do a lot of these kind of cool things where it could see what you're doing. And it was gone. I think the big thing there was that they looked really dorky. So they're not going to be popular. Whereas the Meta Ray-Bans, it's like they're partnering with a fashion brand. These Ray-Bans are super cool. So this is actually, I think, going to go somewhere. The other thing I want to bring up is, you know, I've also been researching a lot on the Snapchat Spectacles. This is a product that was super cool back in the day, but it's kind of been forgotten. No one ever really talks about Snapchat Spectacles, but it's a real thing, right? Snapchat built these glasses with a built-in camera. Now, the thing that I think Ray-Ban and Meta have over them is if you look at the Snapchat Spectacles, these things are like very obviously clunkier than normal glasses. They have these huge cameras built in. It just, it doesn't look like something that you would naturally wear the arms on these things are super fat so it obviously kind of looks like this futuristic thing meta and ray-ban have done a phenomenal job i honestly don't know like you would be hard pressed to see where the tech is actually built into this thing very very cool looks just like a regular pair of glasses so huge hats off here a couple other cool features that you can do is if you're wearing these, you also can share what you're looking at during a video call. So, or, you know, on WhatsApp or Messenger or wherever you're doing this kind of in the meta ecosystem. So it integrates with 
the app on your phone, which I think, again, is probably going to be a huge winning play for Meta, right? Because you have people like Humane with the Humane pin, and they're like, no, we're replacing your smartphone. You wear this instead of a smartphone. You don't need a phone anymore now that you have the Humane pin. But like, honestly, we all are used to using our phones. It's a screen we can look at. I know the Humane pin tries to have a projector where it can show you some like green graphics on your hand. This is not as good, right? We're, we're used to seeing like, if I'm doing a video call, I'm not doing like a hologram video call on my hand with a projector, right? I, I want to see like the person's actual face. So how cool if you can use your glasses as the camera and you're doing the video call on your phone, you can see them, but also they can see everything you're looking at. It's just so much more immersive. It's super, super cool, and it doesn't feel weird and intrusive like a VR headset. And then, of course, the multimodal AI upgrade is going to be available for users in the US and Canada. So huge markets that are getting unlocked right now. I think when we're talking about you know why all of this matters, right now I think Meta's multimodal integration is a really big step towards smart glasses, right? So this is something that obviously it's not 100% there yet. They're just getting started. But the fact that you can have a pair of glasses that looks completely normal and it functions in this way, it's got all this AI built into it, I think is impressive. The way that you pair this with your phone, I think is a good play on Meta's part. You could probably have a lot of the tech just running on your phone, but Bluetooth synced to your glasses. So it kind of makes them a new, a new device, but it's more like a smartwatch where it just gives you extra information. I could see people wearing a smartwatch and these. I think that they're phenomenal. And the ability for you to be able to see things and get feedback instantly is going to be really hard for anyone to beat. So, you know, whether you're using this for something like sharing on a video call, being able to ask it questions about everything you're doing, overall, this is a fantastic new innovation that I think is fantastic out of Meta. Really excited to see the adoption, get my hands on a pair of these, and I'll keep you up to date on how that goes when I do that. If you enjoyed the episode today, I would really, really appreciate it if you could leave us a review wherever you listen to your podcast or subscribe and give us a like on YouTube if that's where you're at. We're super grateful that you could be here, and I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day.